Hello y'all, welcome to part 5 of my Austrian Empire Hitler Path playthrough in the Hearts of Iron 4 mod Red Flood. In part 4, the Republic of Osmark came into existence, and besides that we helped the Sovaks gain their independence from Hungary. And right now we're doing the focus accountable to Germans, which when that is done, the popularity of right-wing authoritarianism will rise within the country, and right-wing authoritarianism is the ruling ideology, so that's going to happen. We are justifying on Yugoslavia, but that may possibly be a mistake. How big is their military? I really don't know. 10 to 39. Should we outnumber them? I don't know if we will or not. I don't know. Let me actually just... I don't know. I had to get a very ambitious plan for this, I think. We're going to let them intentionally take say, oh, there goes Ukraine, he just lost to Poland and the Ruthenian Empire. So there's a very big Polish popular commonwealth there, and Siberia declared war on someone. Let me just set up a fallback line here, and hold on to this river, just so we don't end up having to attack over a river, because we'll get some attack penalties there. We'll, we'll intentionally lose Leibach to Yugoslavia. The reason we're doing this is so that we can hope they'll leave their fortifications on the border and make things a lot easier for us. Now, no no, no national focus is set. Let's change that by beginning to do the Peasants Road. And it says here, I believe, the peasants form the principal foundation of the Germanic people, I mean of the German people. For, un for untold generations, the primary business of the German people has been farming. And what this will do, essentially, we'll get a national spirit called Catholic Land Reform, which will grant us plus 25% monthly population and 2.50% higher stability. And let's go to our government now and make Adolf Posel the head of government, and he is a reformist soldier, so he will give us more army experience gain, as well as higher division recovery rates. And for our foreign minister, let's get Hans Krabs, who seems somewhat familiar to me, but I can't really name what he did in our timeline in real life. And essentially what he'll do is the trade, he'll lower the trade deal opinion factor by 3% and he'll also lower the justify war goal time by 5%. Now let's start doing the focus and shrine Catholic values. This will give us 40 political power I think. And it will also, oh, there's a peace conference. And it will also give us an event called Matters of Faith and Blood. Okay, then. So we have an unassigned division here, bring an army two. We need to have all these divisions set up on this line. What are you guys doing? Fix it up. Go here, please. Thank you. 27 divisions in all. I hope this idea doesn't horribly backfire. I'm doing no research. That's bad. Let's start doing construction three. Construction 3, advanced machine tools, as well as, say, get the Steer MP34, which is like a submachine gun, I think. That's the next weapon upgrade and get computing machine. So that's all fine and dandy. Now, economy minister, let's get Gottfried Feather, and this will increase our construction speed for a few type of different buildings, mainly military-related stuff, potentially. Okay, yeah, it's mostly like fortifications and infrastructure. That's nice. Everything but factories, it looks like, it seems. And get this guy. Can we give our marshal a leader trait? Give him offensive doctrine. Do that now. Good. And we have all our divisions here. Osmark is ready. When is this war goal going to be done? The war goal will be ready by October 1938. It's currently... Just June 1938, so we have a few months to wait, basically. And I want to win this war just so we can have Yugoslavia be a puppet of ours. Then we can have a stronger position against the Hungarians. And here's some about Catholics and the apostolic, apostolic, apostolic faith. Okay, there's some about Catholicism in Germany. Okay, then, matters of faith and blood. We're done with that event now. I'm just kind of just breezing through these events and the workers path let's start doing this focus and once it is done it will give us a national spirit called work ethic well work ethic reforms 
and it will give us higher stability as well as faster production efficiency growth. So that's fantastic. So out of Pozel's right wing Catholic Austria's, well, his plans are underway, let's just say that. And I believe this country is a dictatorship. It functions as one, I believe. It's an anocracy. What is an anocracy supposed to be? It is a, a state that shares both democratic and authoritarian features. Most of them are dominant party systems. That is, states where opposition parties are allowed and elections are held, but the ruling party's power is rarely, rarely threatened. Okay. Sometimes this position is maintained through outright election fraud, while at others, the ruling party has a major structural advantage while campaigning. Interesting. And free civilian factories start building some of these in Upper and Lower Austria, as well as, say, Sudanland. The Romanian Moldavian War. That's a big deal, I guess. And there's a war in Siberia. So, what do we do at this point? And the Spanish Civil War just ended, or no? I think the Spanish Republic just went down at the very least. Let's start doing the focus. Social, not socialist. Once this is done, we'll get a national spirit. Oh, it will modify work ethics reform and give us, say, 2% stability, 10% production speed, well, 10% faster construction speed, and plus 3% more production efficiency growth. So that's nice. Grab this division here, good. And let me now get the Minister of the Interior. This will be Engelbert Dufus, the silent lawyer. And that will give us faster construction speed and higher political power gain. And Dufus, in real life, in our timeline, was the leader of fascist Austria until I think he was assassinated by German Nazis, I believe. So it is interesting to see him here effectively in Red Flood's Hitler's cabinet, essentially. And that's just fascinating. Very interesting choice there made by the development team of this mod, to say the least. And now, modify our equipment in some way or no, go to partial mobilization. I really want to test the Austrian army against Yugoslavia. That'll be a big deal. And let's now do the focus, say, Dolphus's reforms, Dolphus reforms. And this will give us, that will modify the Catholic land reform national spirit. And it will now provide us higher monthly population values, as well as less factories will be used on consumer goods. Or no, I guess more will be used on consumer goods. And we'll get 2.50% stability. All right. And grab this division here, give an army two. That is that. And someone just lost a war. Whatever. And we're just waiting now for that focus to be done. And there's a phalangous victory in the Spanish Civil War. And they just take over that part. They just got Morocco, that part of North Africa. So the all-Spanish Union Empire will be a thing in this playthrough. If they'll do anything, I don't know. I don't know. And we've got to wait for these reforms to be done. Please, let's go over and look at Mongolia. Is there any wars here? I thought there was a war here. I guess not. Oh, there is. Vaguely. Siberian Soviet Republic. Soviet Socialist Republic is fighting against the Siberian General Government. And there's wars going on between the Handway clique and the Imperial Authority. And looking over to Moldova and Romania. They're at war. And I think Moldova is winning barely or no. I think it's kind of balanced out now. Let's start doing the focus to kneel. Uh, no, to teal and to keep. And once this is done, oh, we're ready to fight. Yugoslavia now, this is going to be a big deal. So let's declare war. This will be a test for us. And they're justified on Greece for some reason. I don't know why, they just kind of are. Let's send out this division here. And we'll be ready to go. Just let them move into that territory. Then we'll begin our attack. Good. So this might be a very smart idea or a terrible one. We'll see very soon. Launch the offensive. We have a fair amount of equipment gathered for this campaign. You have plenty of rifles, move down here rapidly and try and establish some kind of encirclement. Use force attack for Erlen Rommel's forces as well as this army and staff office plan. Do everything we can. Begin some kind of attack now. Move in before they can entrench themselves. That was kind of the objective and get some kind of surprise attack effectively. So encircle this army here. They call in Thracia to help them. That's essentially some 
kind of socialist Bulgaria. Can we overwhelm these soldiers though? If we just get a bigger front, that would be such a big thing for us. That's what we need. My goodness, we gotta cross like a river though. So that's not helping. Use force attack. Use that now. Focus tree to teal and to keep. That will give us higher resource gain efficiency and higher stability. Here's a new division. Send them out to do something. And we should be able to overwhelm them, I think. They don't have that many soldiers. Oh my goodness, they're just using last stand though. It's so annoying. Keep attacking though. Overwhelm them near Sagrab. And we just want to make Yugoslavia a puppet of Ostmark. Cause that would strengthen our position greatly, please. Where is our air force? I don't have any planes deployed yet, don't I? No, I don't. Now, let's do something here. What does this do? Autonomous churches versus state-controlled churches. Let's just go with autonomous churches, I guess. That would give us more stability. So let's go with the path of Febronius, and that will give us autonomous churches as a national spirit, which will provide us more stability and, a and the compliance growth speed in our states occupied by the enemy will go up by plus 15%. Okay. And this offensive is not really working. So new plan. Go back to the fallback line strat we had in mind earlier. And just greatly increase the front line here. That's what we have to do to take advantage of our numbers. And I'm going to do that now. Fall back, please. Please take the bait. Take the bait. Do we outnumber them? Let me even see. Do we? 15 to 34. We have 32. So we should be able to outnumber them slightly, I would say. And they're going to move in as we want them to. Yes, please do that. We want to expand the front line intentionally. Did we lose a division? We may have lost a division. I hope we didn't, but we may have lost one. Okay, so that's done. Now we'll have our entire force begin attacking once more. Make an offensive order. And launch it into the forces of Yugoslavia. Hopefully this all works out in our favor, like in like I envisioned it doing so. Go before they kind of get any kind of entrenchment established. Avenging Kanasa, do all this. This will give us, say, oh, the Kingdom of Italy will hate us once we do this. We'll also get a hit in base stability, which is somewhat concerning, but oh well. Please don't lose any more ground. And the Malagasy Empire is proclaimed. Interesting. Move in here. Oh, one of these divisions. My goodness, go. We just need a huge cutoff for these troops. That is what would be ideal for us. Attack here also. What are you guys doing? They're not going the right way. Fantastic. That's terrible. This is definitely not going in our favor. They have those buffs. They're so annoying. Military staff. Get Chief and Navy. Chief of the Air Force. Anybody. Anybody at all. Get the... Army regrouping guy. Sure. Him also get commando person that will help special forces for us. And we are struggling to overwhelm basic units here. That is an irritating thing, without a doubt. And let us start researching engineer company two, do all that. Doctrines available. Superior firepower that is unlocked now. The Ruthenian Empire is now gonna fight Finland, which means they're gonna fight the Russian Empire. Why do they think this was a good idea? I have no idea. That was not the best idea at all. Cut these guys off, go. Do not allow them to escape. That's seven divisions locked down. Oh, I'm such a genius. My tactical brilliance is on display here, clearly, even though we kind of blundered into this into this successful situation. So that's had seven divisions for Yugoslavia just trapped. That is bad for them, really bad. Now, let's start doing the focus. What can we do here? Complete anti-usury action. Sure. That will cause us to lose minus 12% stability and give us higher research speed. Alright then, can I use any kind of attacks here? No. Overwhelm those soldiers. Go, 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 go. And the Assyrian Patriarchy... Patriarchate? Patriarchate? Artet? Whatever, they're fighting the Kingdom of Jazeera now. The, uh, the Assyrian Patriarch is doing it, doing that. How is the Ruthenian Empire and Poland doing? They are kind of existing. I think they lost a fair... No. Yeah. They're trying to push. Let's just say that. They're fighting Russia, who is massive. So I imagine that's only going to go so well. Just, they're stuck in a corner. This is bad. I mean, it's good for us, but it's very bad for Yugoslav's army. Eight divisions. Eight divisions are stuck. 
and they're going to just be annihilated now. Focus on them. Focus on them. Attack here. How's equipment doing? Good. Start. Stop recruiting as many divisions as we have. Yes, I don't want as many divisions since we're struggling now to get manpower. And in the focus, I mean in the research tree, let's start getting, say, improved infantry equipment too. As well as, say, let me go back, let me go back, research tree, research tree, come to me. Let's start researching excavation three, as well as, say, I don't know, that's too far ahead. Research this here, the artillery upgrade, that will take 50 days. Destroy those divisions, and there is now another war, well, just a war in Russia, taking place now between two of the different warlords there. That's such a huge blow to Yugoslavia. We just encircled those eight divisions they had. Let me see the casualties. They're at 112,000. My goodness, but that was a fair amount of divisions for them, without a doubt. And I think with that, I'm going to end what is part five of my Austrian Empire Hitler Path playthrough in the Hearts of Iron 4 mod, Red Flood, here. If you enjoyed the mod, you can check it out in the video description. The link to it is there. If you enjoyed the video itself, Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe.